up y'all welcome back to the content so i wanted to do this video is because of this interesting topic from the batman franchise aka matt reeves movies now even though this is matt reeves first movie i think when it comes to the batman and the whole you know persona this dark and gritty like he's supposed to be for the most part it's what really got fans interesting, especially the trailer. Now, I know two years ago when the first trailer came out, didn't know might like it because of the costume of how it was to darken the dark shadow of his eyes. But personally, this is what Batman was supposed to be. And I can care less what everybody else thinks, but the Batman, in my honest opinion, is going to be a smash hit in the box office. I'm calling it, I'm predicting it. The same way I did with Mortal Kombat 2021, I ended up being right on the long. So, not only that they're celebrating the Batman in the most epic fashion way possible, they also are doing a comic book tribute to the character now that it's gonna be coming out this year on March, which is something that I'm looking forward to the most and to be honest with you it's one of these cases where if you're going to do a Hollywood movie and something tells me that this movie is going to have everybody hate this film because of Robert Pattinson or is it because the fact that it's not like the Christopher Reeves or Michael Keaton's Batman or Ben Affleck's Batman and personally, I'm not the biggest Ben Affleck's Batman fan, but that's just how I feel. I'm not going to criticize it, but I just don't like it. That's just how I feel. So, what you're about to see is nine, like nine comic covers of the Batman that DC have done. And it looks like some, you know, some of them were done by the same artist who did the Ninja Turtles and Batman crossover who is now doing the Power Rangers versus Godzilla comic. There are like nine different artists doing tribute to the Batman and I have to say all of these look really really good especially this first print right here. I'm loving the way he's standing on the rooftop over the statues and the lighting just looks so good. This second Varric cover right here is pretty epic. You can tell he's getting through some serious heat with bullets flying all over him, riding on the motorcycle, just breaking through glass everywhere. And this right here really shows how dedicated the DC fandom is when it comes to the Batman. This one is my personal favorite. It has this little classic feel to it, but keeping it dark and original at the same time of Matt Reeves the Batman thing and I love it a lot um this one this one aside you know personally I think it looks kind of like generic but that's just how I feel my honest opinion but if you like it man just comment down below let me know which, which one of your just tell me which one of yours was your favorite cover of the Batman this one is my you know this one is my personal favorite as well I really like this a lot I like how it look but this one, this is the one I saw in the article. I love the way that the shadows look, the coloring, the the texture that I'm getting. I'm getting this very comic book-ish vibe from it, and I like it. But this one right here is really, really cool. I love how dark and gritty looks while it's raining, the lights are on, and he's on top of the Batmobile painting I love the most I love how it looks the details and you can tell there are so many artists that are doing so many great tributes of the character um Catwoman she's a bit basic I know she's not everyone's favorite character I mean she is stuff but the costume I don't think everybody's gonna like it but I thought it was fine so those are your non viral covers which one was your favorite? Let me know in the comments down below and shout out to the article. And if you want it, it will be in the description below as well. Till next time, y'all.